So there's about five positive things that I want to, that first, the first thing that caught my mind about the upgrade. And that has to do a lot with the, the front end. This here has nothing in the front. Um, it's just open, you have your, your motor and there's nothing there, you know. So that was like a negative. So every time, you know, I, I try to carry debris to the truck, whatever, um, on my, on, if you watch some of my other videos, I've always got a bucket or bags that I'm dragging from behind me while, while I'm, I'm, on, I'm on here and I'm just dragging because there's really nowhere to set it here. So the upgrade on the new mower is that they have a flat space here. They actually have something where you can stand, you know, you can sit down, or you can put a bucket. So I, I have already put a 30 gallon bucket here, tied it up with the bungee cord, works perfect. I put a 65 gallon bucket here, a uh, little too, it, you know, it works. You know, but you gotta make sure it's tied down. But that's that was like a, a big, you know, the first thing that I noticed was that the front end, it had space to put something there. You know, um, if you got like a long hedge and you just need a couple of feet and you don't wanna be moving the ladder, you know, this is something where you can just stand on it. You know, it's, it's strong enough to carry, to hold your weight. Another guy could be in the back as you're trimming. You know, that's a, I guess that, that, that's the first thing I see, the advantage, because you know, I do a lot of trimming. But, you know, so that's one, one upgrade that that I really enjoyed. And the second biggest thing was the, the motor. Uh, the, well, actually it's combined with, with the deck. On my old one, so you have this small lever here, right? So this lever here, in order to raise and lower the deck of the mower, see, you, you move the whole engine. The whole engine and the deck are combined together. And you know, to move that engine all the way up, you know, it's up and down, you know, all, if you're, you know, all day if, if you're adjusting it, you know, it can get heavy, it, it is heavy. You know, so that that was one of the things that I didn't like about this, um, but you know it grew on me because you get used to it. But the, on the new mower, they changed it. They changed it a lot. So you have a longer lever, which you would think that that one would have a longer lever. But this one has a longer lever here, and I could raise the deck down and up without the motor moving at all. So the motor is not hooked up to your deck no more. So that that's a real good thing. You know, so it, it, it's not as heavy as that one is as you try to pick up and, and lower that motor. So that's number two, guys. That's, a, that, that's the second biggest thing that, 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 that I enjoy about the new mower. And in, o in order for them to make this space here, what they did, they turned the, the, how you say, the motor around. So this motor here, you have the muffler here. And on this new motor here, you have the muffler on the, on the opposite side. And so when you're mowing, and you have the discharge on, this, on, on both mowers, it discharges on the on the right hand side, right? And so when you're mowing up, you know, when, when you're mowing, you don't want to be mowing, discharging all your clipping into the landscape beds, you know, because then it makes it look nasty. So you, you keep that side into the into the grass area, and you and you keep the other side closer to the hedges, to the landscape bed. So when you're so when you're up against the the, the shrubbery and stuff, you know, doing the edge, you know, mowing on the edges, the muffler is blowing all that hot air. Into into the shrubbery, you know. So you know, I, that's it. Didn't really do. It doesn't really do that much damage. But for me, you know, if, if I park my mower and I got it, it's just blowing that hot air. This one, I like the whole idea. It's on the discharge side. So when if I'm going um, cutting up against the, the shrubbery, or whatever, I don't have to worry about that hot air blowing into the into you know burning um, the shrubs or anything. You know. So that that was another feature that I like. But that's that, that that's not number three. <laughs> number three. So number one was the, the extra space in the front. Number two was the, the way to move the, the deck up and down. So my third one is the hydraulic hose. So this is, has been a big issue with me since I had this. Um, these hoses, these hydraulic hoses, you got them on both sides and they get hot, they get real hot. And what happens is they start rubbing on the frame or on the brackets and they start um, being so hot that while they're rubbing on it, they start melting. And then there's times when these have, have leaked, you know, and the last thing you want to be is on a, on, a, on a job and these things are leaking. So, you know, and, and they move up and down. See, while I'm moving this up and down, the, the deck, the motor, and the height, and the, and the hoses are all moving up and down. So these things are always, you know, wearing out, leaking, you know, but the, the good thing about the Toro, they're always uh, replacing it for free. So I had no, you know, so that, that was a good thing, but at the same time, it was bad for the main reason, you know, you don't want to 
you know, you got to take it in and get it maintained and all that, you know, th just time, time, and, and then if it, if it happens on the job site, you know, it just makes things more difficult. <coughs> and then also your your uh, hydraulic fluid right here, is your, your hydraulic fluid pump is right here in the front, you got your cooling system here, so everything's like uh, exposed. With the new one, this is, everything's different on this one. There, there are no hydraulic hoses. I guess they, they had to change it because of the way they turned the motor, that's what I'm assuming. So. The way, so there's no hydraulic hoses at all. So they have, they have rods from your gears that go straight into the to the hydraulic uh, motors, whatever they call it. Um, <laughs> so so there, there's no hoses. Um, there, the the hydraulic fluid uh, coolant, uh, you know, it's in here. So that was another big thing. So that's number three, guys. That was another third big thing was the the, the hoses. All right. So another one for me was the gas. All right, so, so number four is the gas tank. All right, so here you had a gas tank. It carried, I don't know, about five gallons in this, in this gas, in the gas tank. It has, actually has a gas gauge here, but what happens is it gets so fogged up that you can't see how much gas you have in there. You know, so, <clears throat> so you know, so sometimes you had to guess or you had to wet it, you know, just to see how much gas is in there. Um, so that, you know, so that was one thing about this gas. And then your, uh, to fill it up, it's on your right-hand side. So if I had an open trailer, when I, when I use my open trailer, when I ride it up, I would have to reverse it so, so I could use the, the gas pump to go, to go over the side rail. With this guy, there is no gas gauge at all. No gas gauge. What, what happens is they have a, a see-through tank. All right, so, so the gas tank, you see, so here's the gas tank here. So it's a big, long, clear, clear see-through gas tank. And on this gas tank, you have your, your three quarters, your, your, your quarter, your half, you know. So if you need to add gas, you know, usually I'll just kick it, you can see the gas, lit. my gas lit glove was right here. So I'm gonna have to add gas. All right, so, so that's one of the, you know, the advantages of having this clear gas tank, you know. And then also, I, I believe it carries like about 10 gallons, uh, almost 10 gallons, I think. Um, or this, you know, compared to five, so it's a double amount. So maybe we'll cut more without worrying about the gas on, on this one. <clears throat> and then, so so number one was the space in the front. Number two was the, the way you're able to uh, raise, lower the, the, the deck without the motor. Uh, number three, the hydraulic hoses. Number four is the, the way the gas tank is set up. And so, and my fifth one here is the way you can change the oil on this thing. So on this one here, on this motor, it has a, a quick release on, on the side here. But with all the, the with, with all the, the hydraulic hoses here, the, your, your uh, filter uh, liquids here, your pump here, it has a lot of hoses. It has a, a lot of hoses, you have the frame, you know, and to lower this here, down. You know, it's, it's still kind of tight underneath here, you know, there's uh, three times already uh, since, since I had this, I had broken that quick release. Because uh, you, so you turn it and, and you, you add a hose to it, you turn it and it, and it releases the oil. And, and that thing wears out, it strips, you know, because this is kind of difficult to get to, especially when you have, you know, little fat hands like mine. So, you know, so, <clears throat> but, you know, I was able to get the job done. But this one here, I really like the way they did this. Um, so, this one here, I'm going to drop the deck all the way down. Got my oil pan here. This lifts up. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this out of here and to change the oil. It's right here. We got the hose. It's, it's, you know, you turn the nut. But this here, the slides right underneath, just like that. And then you unscrew your, your, the nut here. There it is. The, the oil releases from there. So that, that that's a pretty cool fe uh, feature there. Um, that's something that I can't wait to do to change the oil on this thing. Uh, to get to, to the another one is to uh, to get to the belt. The belt for the deck is underneath this motor here. And if the motor is stuck with this deck, so every time I move it up and down, you know. You know, it's a little difficult to change this belt here. 
uh, for the spindles. This one here, it's open. Everything is open. So what you have here, you have this little step, you know, this thing here that, that you, you're able to move for down and you get to your belt easily because the motor's not on top of it at all. So, you know, that's, that, that was a, an easy, you know, that's something, I'd say, makes it a whole lot easier to change out. <clears throat> all right, so those are my pros. Those are my pros. Uh, oh yeah, this thing goes 10 miles per hour. It's fast. Uh, this one here, I don't know how, uh, it probably goes five now. But I think when it was brand new, it was going like eight. Um, but anyways, so those are my pros with the upgrade. Some of my negatives. <clears throat> so I, I've been having this already for, for um, what, two and a half, three, three months already. And one of the things that, that I gotta, I'm, getting, I'm trying to get used to it is because they changed the motor, um, since that motor is on that deck, when I, would, when I would run this on an empty field or, or, you know, it would cut nice, real nice and flat, straight. You hit bumps, you know, it didn't really change it. I, it's probably because of all the weight that was on the deck. All right, so now this one here, put this back on. So this one here, the motor is not connected to the deck. And one of the things that, that I find out is that if you hit, say, some branches coming out of the ground, you know, it don't have to be big branches, just small branches, this thing will bounce a lot. You, I mean, it starts, you know, it, just, it, it goes crazy, like, boom, boom, feels like it's gonna pop up or whatever, you know, but that's because I be, I be mowing kind of fast. <laughs> so if, if you're mowing, you know, fast, and, and so I'm, I'm learning, because it has a lot of power, guys, this thing goes fast. So I'm learning, I'm trying, you know, and these things here, the, the handlebars, the, the, the handles here, they're real sensitive, very sensitive. So you don't have to use a lot of force, a lot of muscle, you know, to pull back or, you know, just very touching it, it it's gonna, it's gonna move. So, you know, so that was one of my, one of the negative things that, that, I'm, that I'm trying to learn to, to control my speed around area, you know, cause I was on an open field. It was just an open field. This one here, I would cut, you know, you bounce a little bit, no problem. This one here, you know, going full, full speed with this one, you cut it, you bounce a little bit. It's natural, especially you know, in the field. This one here, I'm on the same field, I'm going full blast and this thing just start pouncing around, pouncing around, you know, it's, you know, it's like, whoa. <laughs> so, you, got, you know, you, uh, you, you gotta know, you gotta know how to use it. You know, you gotta know how to use the machine. And then the second thing, and I haven't had to do this yet, but when I was reading the book, um, <laughs> I hope I don't have to do this, but when I was reading the book, it says if the belt to the transmission breaks, or if you gotta change the belt to the transmission, um, you, it's, you gotta drain the fluids to the high, to, to the hydro pump. You have to change uh, change the fluids on that, um, and then to be able, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. But, but just by reading that, that was a negative for me. And that was like way too much work. You know, if that belt breaks on a, on a job, like oh my gosh, how many get this? You know, onto the trailer. You know, it just made like this one here has done it before. And you know, you pop these things on on its back, and you can change. You know, um, you can change that that belt, same uh, transmission belt. But uh, with this one. It seems like it's more difficult to do it. Just by the way I read it, um, I haven't seen no one do it yet, and I haven't, I haven't had to do it. It's, it's, brand, it's brand new. So, but anyways, guys. So th those are my my pros for the upgrade and my two cons for the upgrade. But I gotta say, I've been I've been with Toro. I've been using Toro for 18 years, guys, and um, they're, they're very well built. You know, I'm, I'm not getting paid to say this. You know, if you know me, I. I will share with you my experience with the equipment that I use. And the Toro has, has been, the warranty on these things are, are outstanding. I believe it's a five year warranty on these, uh, 1,200 uh, 1, uh, hours or something like that on these, on these mowers. And you know, even to this day, um, I just had, what was it? I forgot what it was done to it. And it was still under warranty. And you found about going on six years and with over 25, uh, 2,500 hours on this mower. And you know, it, it still some things that have extended warranty on it. And you know, I'm just you know sad that I had to you know upgrade because it's so funny because just recently I got on it and being on that one for for a couple for a couple months now, uh, man, this poor thing, like wow, this thing is old. <laughs> but you know, I re I really enjoy the Toro the Toro brand. Um, like I said, 
they're not paying me for this. I, you know, I'm just doing this review because this is equipment that I use and I just want to share with y'all on this equipment. And uh, hopefully this will, if you're thinking about buying a turtle, you know, um, this will help you with that decision or whatever. Because I know there's so many mowers out there. And this thing did cost, um, they're, they're about 10000 I did pay about 10000 for this mower. Um, it's a little more than what I paid for this one. I think when I got this one uh, brand new, I paid 8000 um, so it's a it's a little it's a little price difference. Um, <laughs> this is like buying a what is it a, a, a Ford um, I don't know one of those little Ford cars. <laughs> it's like buying a little car right here, guys. But the only difference is this one will make you money. So if you have any questions or comments that, that you want to put on, you know you want to ask me, uh, be free go ahead and do it. Um, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully this was good enough. Um, I think I'm too much. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, or um, stay strong and stay focused. Peace out.